Chorus is often the most frequently asked question from our customers. Hello everyone, this is Jack. In today's RD Insight Export, I will be discussing everything about CNC machining tolerances. What is tolerance? Tolerance in CNC machining refers to the acceptable range of dimensional variation that a part can have while still maintaining its intent functionality. It's a critical aspect during both the design and the manufacturing phases. Specified machining tolerance tell CNC machining provider what degree of precision to use when producing a part. The smaller the tolerance in the manufacturing world, this is a tighter tolerance, the more precision required. The larger the tolerance, also called the loser, the less precision you need. What standard tolerance? Standard tolerance is usually set by various international standards bodies, such as the International Organization for Standard Digestion (ISO), the American Society of Mechanical Engineers (ASME), and the American National Standard Institute (ANSI). They come into play when customers don't give specific tolerance levels. I read it direct. We align with ISO 2768 medium for metal parts and ISO 2768 coarse for plastic parts. 2. Unilateral tolerances. Unilateral tolerances allow deviations in just one direction, positive or negative. For instance, a tolerance of 1.5 mm, a plus 0 or a minus. 0.005 mm signifies that the dimension can vary from 1.495 mm to no higher than the original 1.5 mm. 3. Bilateral tolerance. A plus or minus 0.06 mm is a typical bilateral tolerance example. It can accommodate deviations in both positive and negative directions. These are commonly used for exterior dimensions. 4. Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerating GDNT. GDNT is a more advanced system compared to standard dimensioning and tolerating SDNT. It not only specified dimensions and tolerances. But also, it precisely defines the geometric characteristics of a part, including flatness, true position, and uh, concentricity. 5. Limit tolerance. Limit tolerance is a minimum and uh, maximum permissible value for a dimension. 13 to 13.5 mm, for example, is a limit tolerance indicating that the measurement must fall within this range. When deciding on CNC machining tolerances, keep this key point in mind. First, focus on critical features. Apply tolerance only to essential features of a part, as not every aspect requires strict tolerancing. Second, avoid unnecessarily tight tolerances. Tight tolerances often cause increased scrap production. Special measurement tools, additional fixturing, and uh, longer cycles leads only to increased machining costs. So, CNC machine capability matters. Consider the CNC machine's capability that will be used for machining your part. Consult with your suppliers to align expectations. Fourth, material considerations. Different materials have distinct features that affect achievable tolerances. Soft materials and rough textures can pose challenges to maintain tight tolerances. Rough and coarse materials are usually tough on cutting tools and can even cause them to wear out faster. We have covered a comprehensive range of CNC machining tolerances. At Rapid Direct, we offer expert technical support for your CNC machining projects. Don't hesitate to contact with us to ensure your project's success. If you found this information valuable, 
show your support by liking this video and sharing your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to Rapid Direct to stay tuned for upcoming RD Inside videos. Bye!